Hello and welcome to episode 146 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day for 146 days in a row now, I provided you with a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. If you're new around here, my name is James Newell. I teach people how to sell. I take a very different approach. I've broken sales and selling down into a 500 plus component methodology where I can get extremely granular and tell you how to do very specific things in a very specific way using simple, actionable, behavioral based, human based, simple things. No trickery, no techniques, no persuasion, just simple, actionable stuff. In each episode of the Daily Sales Message, I share one or maybe even more than one of those things, if you're lucky, to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff. I'm the first to recognize and promote the fact that the things I talk about are not rocket science. They're quite straightforward. Most of them are completely free to do, and you can do them pretty much instantaneously. So there's no real barrier to you getting better at selling other than what's in your mind. The, th the fact that you don't think perhaps you can get better or you just don't know what to do. That's why, that's not why I exist. That's why my company exists. That's why Daily Sales Message exists. It's kind of my mission to do that. All right, in today's episode, the thing that all buyers want to buy, the thing that they're all looking for, it's the same for any, every business, whether it's a product, whether it's a service, online, offline, mail order, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you're in the UK, the US, around the world, it doesn't matter. What we're buying, was a number of things we're buying, but it's laced with this certainty. Certainty. That's really what it comes down to. We're buying certainty. I want to know that such and such a thing will happen, and I want the certainty that your product or your service will help me to achieve that. That's what I'm looking for. As such, we need to talk about certainty in our offering as much as possible. And certainty is one of those interesting things because people shy away from it because they're already feeling a little bit unconfident about sales and selling and they don't want to come across as boastful or arrogant. Oh, look at me. This is what we can do. And I totally get that. But trust me, if your buyers don't see confidence, certainty and expertise, certainty being one of the most important ones there, they're going to flinch and they're going to move to somebody who is more confident and has a stronger message than you do about your ability to deliver. So what you need to do is have a look at the communications that you've got in your business. How are you talking about your offering? And are you talking about certainty? Do you use terms like everything, nothing, always, 100%, these kind of things? This is what your buyer's looking for. And if you're not doing it, how can you bring that into the mix? Obviously, we don't want to mislead people or actively lie to them. We want to be factual and be uh, ethical about what we do, 100%. But maybe we need to turn up the, the certainty dial a little bit, turn up the confidence dial a little bit, and talk with a lot more conviction about the fact that, do you know what? We can actually do this for you. This is how we do it. Here is our process. Here is what we do, etc. A couple of ways that we can communicate certainty. One is the process, which I was just starting to get into there. Having a process of working, one that you can explain, you can visualize, hopefully it's got a name also, but an articulated process of working, that implies certainty, 100%, that implies certainty. Second thing is the minimi minimization of risk. So any kinds of guarantees, warranties, promises, safety nets for your buyer. So those are two very simple things, I mean, it's a lot more than that, but it's two very simple things that you can do to start to communicate certainty to your buyer because trust me that is what they're looking for well that's it for this episode of the daily sales message hope you enjoyed that one tomorrow we are talking about leaving people in a certain way leaving people in a certain way i'll explain more about that in tomorrow's exciting edition of the daily sales message thank you for listening i do appreciate it i'll see you tomorrow